Hello, Zach here, back again with another random map game, and today continuing with the theme of Extreme Challenge. Although this isn't in the wasn't in the Extreme Challenge tournament, uh, this map is you could you could call it an Extreme Challenge map. Uh, the map is actually Hamburger today, and I'll look at that in more depth in a moment after we look at who we have actually playing. Down to the south of the map, in blue, we have Eighth Wonder playing as Huns, and up to the north, in red, we have the Viper playing as Huns also, and. These guys, a little bit of a feud between the two. They've they've been arguing and stuff for a long while. So uh, I'm interested to see who wins this one. As as usual, I haven't watched the game beforehand. I'm just jumping straight in. Okay, so let's have a look at this map, Hamburger. What's it all about? Well, as you can probably guess by the actual look of the map, it's based on a hamburger indeed. And this, a yeah, this is an interesting map. I I will explain it in quite a bit of depth. Uh, in a moment basically you've got the water all the way around the outside so water control is really important because as you can imagine you've only got very limited resources on your starting island um, wood is definitely very limited because although you can gather wood from the center here it's very likely that it will be cut through pretty quickly or if not it will be towered very quickly and then your opponent will be or you you can force your opponent away from gathering wood here so I've just noticed as well, there's a, re a really random palm forest tree there in the middle of all the pine. Uh, that's really weird, just one random palm forest tree. Um, but anyway, you could tower this and um, it will prevent your opponent from gathering wood here. So if you've also got the water control, it means your opponent can't get out to the outside where the rest of the wood is to gather the wood from the outside either. So it's a really cool map, I like it a lot. Um, I know a few people such as Cision actually hate it, um, but I, I quite like it, I think it's interesting and it makes it I know it's very very different to say the least um, there is a gap at the side of the wood on either side so that's why uh, eighth wonders placed a palisade here and he's got his scout here as well um, you might want to make up another palisade there otherwise you can sneak some villagers through um, but yeah I mean I, I freaking love this map it's so cool I'm gonna speed things up through the dark ages and uh, wait for these guys to get feudal I imagine they'll be going very very heavily into water as I say it's it's really important to get water control not only if you get water control can you prevent your opponent from uh, getting a transport ship out to the outside of the map uh, but it also means you can prevent them from um, well first of all you can prevent them from doing a lot because you can station ships all the way around the outside and in here as well and you can harass pretty much the whole area of their land which is really really annoying and really awkward and also as well you can stop them from fishing whilst you fish yourself so again it's a big advantage as you can see though Viper's actually taken the water first and his score is going to start rocketing on ahead because he's got three fishing ships out already and although 8th Wonder is already on the way to the feudal age and actually saying that so is the viper <laughs> never mind i take that back uh, but the viper has got two docks out already and eighth wonder hasn't taken any docks yet but he is making quite getting quite a bit of stone so we could see some watchtowers from him of course watchtowers around the outside can repel boats as well um so we'll have to see what he does but i imagine that eighth wonder is going to tower this as soon as he gets to the fuel age and force the viper away from this wood in the center if he does that then of course the viper isn't going to be able to make too many galleys anyway so it could work out in his favor but the viper throwing up three docks there eighth wonder into the cast uh, fuel age first and the viper a little bit delayed with that and as you can see eighth wonder throwing down a watchtower there and no doubt we'll get another one here as well because the viper can't actually build a watchtower yet so eighth wonder gonna get really aggressive nice and early and as you can see the viper just advanced into the fuel age is he gonna build a watchtower in defense does he know that eighth wonder is building a watchtower here will we turn fog of war on he has no idea but i'm sure he can imagine that what eighth wonder is actually up to we'll have to see viper going up with the stone wall on the side there to prevent eighth wonder from getting through eighth wonder looks like he's going to get these watchtowers up and the viper's going to be screwed but the viper is already creating galleys there's three galleys and a tra two galleys and a transport ship coming out looks like the viper's going to get out to the other side very quickly or land some villagers onto eighth wonder's side i don't know can't say for sure but here comes the watchtowers and now the viper is going to be like ah crap i have no way of getting any wood because it's going to be completely harassed Oh great, so now the viper is going to be forced off of this wood here, or at least he's going to lose a few villagers, and I've just noticed the scores are frozen, how silly of me, um, but that doesn't matter too too much because out come the galleys, and the viper is now going to be able to start harassing from the shoreline, these villagers will have to stop gathering deer for sure, and he may be able to do some more harassment as well, but 8th wonder playing this fairly nicely. 
he's got this wood safe in the middle, but the Viper's already got a transport ship out, and he's already sending villagers out to the edge of the map. I guess he's going to start gathering wood from over here, and uh, he's not going to be in too much of, of a bother or a tight spot at all, but he's going to find that he's not going to be able to gather much wood from the centre at all, so he's going to have to move right out to the edge, but it's not too much of a problem for him, because the Viper will have the water control, as 8th Wonder doesn't even have a dock yet, and uh, that's really, really interesting as to why, and it would explain why the Viper's score is so huge at this point, but 8th Wonder is slowing down the Viper's uh, galley production at the very least, because he's only just got this lumber camp up over here and now the viper is going to be able to gather wood again but for the time being his wood gathering is going to be very much delayed and eighth wonder is going to be fairly safe what strategy is eighth wonder going to go for then well i don't really know um he's got plenty of of wood so he could go for quite a few farms right now he's going to get really defensive on this wood here he, he knows he wants to keep this safe but it's only a matter of time till he cuts through there anyway Viper, though, will have water control, which means that 8th Wonder is going to have a job getting off of his uh, little starting island. So for the time being, he'll be okay, but we'll just have to see how this one plays out, as there is no real obvious way in which this is going to go. The Viper, though, is now going to be able to start getting uh, stuff out at the edge. No doubt, um, when he reaches the Castle Age, he'll be able to stick a town centre up here on this gold and, and, and wood and keep himself safe. So I think the Viper's in a pretty nice situation, and his score says that he is in a nice situation too. Um... What's the Viper doing? He's also getting some um, stone of his own and quite a bit of gold as well. I'm interested to see where it goes with this. Bear in mind as well, he's got fishing ships. He's got three, four, five fishing ships right there. Uh, he's not making... Oh, no, he is making some more as well. So he's going to have a really nice like, economical advantage over 8th Wonder during this stage of the game. But 8th Wonder seeding a million farms in, in a fraction of a second there. And... Um, he is going to be able to get to the castle age, I think. That's probably what he's going to try and do. Get up to the castle age as fast as he can and then maybe do something from there. We'll have to see. Maybe he'll realise how important water control is going to be. Um, I'm... He must know the map. Surely he knows the map. You can see he's surrounded by coast, so he knows he's going to have to get a dock at some point. Uh, that is a given. And we'll have to see what he does. He might have to throw up some more watchtowers at the edge here to make a dock and keep it safe. But the Viper isn't even creating that many galleys right now either. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Who gets up to the castle edge first and the like. Eighth Wonder just getting a blacksmith up. We'll see what upgrades he gets. Uh, and that should give us an indication of what um, he's going to be looking to upgrade or what military he's looking to build um these guys um it's hard to say i would say neck and neck but if we look at the population it's 43 to 29 viper is, is taking a very big lead very early on and these fishing ships are contributing hugely uh to his economy no doubt he'll be making some more of those as well pretty shortly and we'll have to see eighth wonder just getting his own dock now and that's about time only 15 minutes in you know uh just getting a dock of his own we'll have to see what he makes from there he might be able to mass quite a few galleys here actually he's building some galleys of his own but I'm sure the Viper just seen, uh, just saw that dock. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, interesting. The Viper didn't actually see that dock. So maybe he doesn't know that 8th Wonder is going to be building galleys. And um, the Viper isn't even building any galleys right now. He's getting a bit complacent on the water. He's only got uh, one, two, and three galleys of his own. So if 8th Wonder can get out four or five galleys, he could actually take water control here, which is going to be really interesting to see. If the Viper doesn't scout this, it could be very likely that the Viper's about to see what's going on and then he will resume making galleys again but for the time being the Viper's getting a little bit complacent on the water and he's just building fishing ships thinking oh, her eighth wonder doesn't know what he's doing um but I think he may be wrong here Viper does now know that 8th Wonder is making more docks and building uh, galleys though, so I imagine we'll see galleys coming out, there we go, galleys being queued up, uh, he does not want to lose the water as it's such a crucial part of this map, and I was really surprised actually that the Viper did get quite complacent there on the water, he should have carried on making galleys this whole time, he's just thrown up another dock down the side over here, and he's making more fishing ships, so his economy is absolutely doing awesome at the moment um i think eighth wonder will have got fletching by now as he's gonna want that for his uh, galleys let's have a look um oh, can't see it he's no, there's no way to tell uh but the viper's already got fletching as well and as i say making watchtowers at the edge of the shore just to keep his uh boats safe viper has got the upper hand though he is being he is creating quite a lot of galleys and I think 8th Wonder is going to struggle to get this one back. Viper probably on the way to the Castle Age already, or very very nearly on the way to the Castle Age. If we have an actual look at how many fishing ships he's got, um, 
Oh, there's no way to tell. Uh, it doesn't tell us. Why, why does it say how many fishing ships he's got? That's a little bit annoying. Um, but he has got a lot. I mean, there's two there. There's uh, five there. There's another five, six down there. So he's got at least 12 fishing ships. And that's going to allow him to get tons and tons of food. And I imagine he'll be looking to advance to the castle age very soon. At that stage, he's going to gain a massive advantage. Because he'll be able to upgrade these to war galleys. And the water will be his. There is no questions asked about that. Um, as you can see, quite a few galleys going up there. And... I would, wouldn't be surprised if we see Viper actually going for a transport ship here and maybe trying to land 8th uh, Wonders side and maybe make some a stable or a an archery range and attack with knights or cavalry archers once he reaches the castle age. He's got enough resources now, uh, we're just researching Wheelbarrow and he will be up to the castle age 64 population to 45. The Viper looks like he's going to be a total walk over here. Um, just demonstrating how important it is to get water control. He's also moved right across to the edge of the map and I imagine we will see some uh, town centres from him once he reaches the castle age. He has got a stable outright there as well which indicates to me that he's probably researching bloodlines or will be researching bloodlines very soon let's have a look he's not got bloodlines yet he may do very quickly though and still attacking at eighth wonder's base so looks to me like eighth wonder isn't going to be able to gain the water at any rate because he's only got three docks he's stopped creating galleys he's not creating any at this one and he's a little bit way off uh, a little way away from being able to advance up to the castle age so I think 8th Wonder made a very big mistake here by not building a dock early on and now we're going to see the Viper gaining a massive advantage as he's advancing up to the Castle Age and another stable going up. So the Viper's going for Knights. Bloodlines is probably going to be on the way very soon. Pardon me. Do a little burp. <laughs> and as you can see a transport ship coming out as well so it looks very likely that the Viper is going to make the Knights from here, transport them across to 8th Wonder's side and land him. And that could land 8th Wonder, haha, <laughs> excuse the pun, in a big pile of shite. Uh, that would not be good for 8th Wonder at all. Viper is definitely gaining the water control here. And there's very little 8th Wonder can do in this situation, I think. Uh, it's it's 54 pop 52 population to 68. And 8th Wonder is not on the way even yet to the Castle Age. So I don't know if he's going to desperately try and get more boats out. He's got fletching, but he's not got enough galleys to combat this. And he hasn't got enough watchtowers along the shore of his... Uh, base either to keep himself safe so I think this has got to be firmly in favour of the Viper for the time being. 8th Wonder just getting on market so he's going to advance up to the Castle Age very quickly but 8th Wonder um, is very far behind now and the Viper is almost up to the Castle Age. Look at how much map control he's got this is insane like the fog of war uh, if we turn that on it's like well hang on a minute you can see the whole map anyway there's no point in having fog of war um absolutely owning this one up i think uh viper now into the castle age and knights coming out and there we go transported across looks like the viper's gonna take this one um i can't say for sure but he's got water control uh eighth wonder can't get out and I imagine the Viper's going to have another town center up pretty soon. If not, then he's definitely going to do a lot of harassment with these knights. In they come, and those villagers are dead. They are dead. And, uh, and yeah, that's not so good for 8th Wonder. His score is lagging very, very far behind uh, now. And I think the biggest mistake from him was simply not making a dock early on and trying to get the water control. He should have realised how important water is on this map. And as you can see, with, without Fog of War on, you can actually see how important it is. With water, you can access pretty much every portion of the land. And also as well, Viper throwing up two town centres over here. So its economy is just going to be growing at an even faster rate. So... It's looking very much in favour of the Viper right now. More knights coming in. Eighth Wonder finally getting up to the Castle Age. But where's his military production buildings? He has none. He has no wood. Nothing. He's throwing up another town centre though. So he could be safe for the time being. If he can repel the Viper's uh, attacks. Uh, a siege workshop going up as well. Interesting. He could try and get some mangonels to kill off these guys. Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to play it by ear. But I don't know. It's not looking very positive for Eighth Wonder right now. And that's a lot of villagers making that town centre right there. There we go, a ton of villagers gathering gold, and 8th Wonder not really paying much attention to his economy. Maybe he's going to try and get a castle up. If he can get a castle, then he might be able to secure enough coastline to gain some water control. So it's definitely not all over for him, but it's not looking good either, is it? I've got to say, um, that's a ton of villagers there, just uh, hitting each other and delaying each other. Almost got enough uh, stone now for a castle. We'll have to see what he does with that, but in comes a, a Viper again. 8th Wonder doing the very logical thing of making a monastery. Um, obviously, monastery 
Monastery uh, is, is pretty good against uh, knights as a couple of monks would win that battle for him. So it's very important that he tries to combat these uh, these knights. He didn't get enough stone there though and in comes the viper with a battering ram, more knights and some villagers of his own to uh, start taking out the 8th eight, wonder space. 8th wonder not getting enough stone for a castle so this could be it for him. He's not looking so good at all. Obviously the viper's going to try and take out his town centres here and try and prevent any monks or, or kill any monks before they really do any harm or come out. It might be a little bit too little, a little bit too late as they said last game for 8th wonder here and it wouldn't surprise me if he gives it up pretty soon. The viper is absolutely owning this one up and 8th wonder is going to really struggle. He's already lost that town centre and Oh, this is not looking good for him. He has got a couple of monks though, so it's not the end of the world. He's going to be able to get a couple of conversions, or not even a couple, just one. And obviously, 8th Wonder going to lose these monasteries as well. And it's game over for him. So, 8th Wonder saying GG. And there we go. Viper kind of dominated that one, didn't he really? Um, but interesting to see this map. I absolutely love this map. It was made by the Prophet, and it's part of the Light Random uh, map pack. And yeah, this map is called Hamburger. Really interesting. I might show you another game from this map uh, actually as well because I really like it. Although water control is really important, it's not the end of the world if you don't get it. Um, but yeah, it's, it usually leads to some interesting gameplay. Um, whether you decide to tower the middle or whether you decide to go really heavily into water early on. Um, it's interesting and we don't see this map played very often. So pretty cool map, yeah? Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I've been Zach and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>